Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Star Wars Palpatine's Gamble. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalov, and right now, we are prepared to do a naval invasion of the country, or country, planet of Bestine. Bestine. But I already put my forces here, our naval forces here, and, uh, well, our allies have already invaded, so I guess we don't really need the naval invasion, so... Well, actually, actually, you know what, instead, we'll use these guys. You guys can do what we wanted to originally and go chugga-chugga through Bestine, Bestine, Bestie Bests. And we'll invade somewhere else. Typhata? Yes, please. All right, let's send all the boys over. Well, I guess they're not boys. I guess they're droids. Droidy boys. Droidies, as someone said in the comments from the last video. Greasy B2 battle droids, because we like them lubed up. If they're not lubed up, they're not ready to go. And that could go for a lot of things. I, like guns. Anyways, um, let's see. Let's invade a good a good old naval invasion. A good old Rambler try. And we'll share the love, spread the love, because we love love, and head on over there too. And our allies might be trying to invade over there eventually, but we're still prepared. Oh, we actually still have to prepare, prepare the actual invasions, huh? Oh, look at that. Just casually sinking or destroying two heavy cruisers while losing maybe a, a armored class ship, maybe? A couple ships here and there. Not bad. Not bad. But we do have some other comms we need to go through. Uh, let's see. Interceptors, yes, please. We got so much money. Ugh. Oh. So much money. But another comment asks if we could get the Subjugator class Dreadnought in this mod or this campaign. And I would like to, but right now they are kind of out of stock. I, I imagine these are pretty difficult to make, so we can't quite get one there quite yet, but maybe eventually. I like the Providence class. That's really cool. And so we're there. Boom, 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 boom. Carnivets, CVs, CVs, light cruisers. No, we're out. We're out. We're out. We're out of a lot of stuff here, actually. But if that's the case... It's only three. It's not very probably good to do it like this, but this hopefully will cement our rule over the galaxy and do winga, bada dinga. Cool. So five sixty. So we need to go about five, little tenish numbers. Difficult. I. That's five tenish enough. Cool. Because I don't think we'll ever get enough of the middle one. Whatever it may be. And we've sunk three more convoys. Very bueno. All right, boys, go right. Oh. Oh, I sent you guys over here, but we didn't tell you guys to go. Wow, that's a lot of allied divisions. Wow. Well, all right. Very nice. Um, well, I guess we can't go quite there yet. Um, but good enough. Jolly good enough. This is much easier than playing as the Mandalorians. Holy crud. Of course, then again, I I had to use that, do that campaign to learn about how to actually do things properly, as some might say. Uh, Resources-wise, stockpile-wise, equipment-wise, we are looking oh so bueno, except for our vulture droids, as well as Tri-Fighter arcs. That's alright, and we'll do Ori, Phase 1. Uh, I want to maybe wait for the last one here, because it says it unlocks focuses for the generic tree, but we'll see what happens. Guarantee of racial equality. Do we want racial equality? Let's get flat of the Separatist Council. To gain more power over the Separatist Council, we will give them more power. Them thinking we are doing this out of the, our good faith won't think anything about it. We will use this ignorance to gain power over them. Very good. And we'll try to get through the Tarpical Street. As you can tell by the title, this is the last episode. Just because there's not a whole lot left for us to do. Um, we've done extremely well against these guys. Like, almost 10 million casualties who are almost 1 million. Or a little bit above 1 million. So, looking pretty good. Uh, someone also asks, how are we going to kill Emperor Palpatine? Or just Palpatine, because he's not an emperor. Yeah. That's a good question, but someone did reply in the comments to someone else saying, with bombers. Lots and lots of bombers. So, we'll see. No guarantees, but we shall see how we will eliminate da Daddy Palpatine. Papa Sheev. Alright, up next, we'll probably want to... Actually, you know what? Just start doing this as well. Just so that our allies might be able to invade these guys as well. well that'd be quite bueno. Alright. Buzz Pity. Well, I don't know if you really should have joined their side, but... That is your funeral. Actually, they just ran out of stuff, huh? Cool. And, alright, don't really care. There we go, get some more of this just in case. And some other stuff, too. This one's pretty good to get her at. Thank you. Take a look for the ships. It's the Super Capitals. Kind of still out of commission for now, but that's alright. Or just can't buy it. Either one. Uh, what happened over here? Lots of convoys. Very good, very good, very good. And then send a group of you baby boys over to here. You press that S button. And you go from, like, here over to there. And then you press left on the mouse, and then press S again, and then go somewhere else, because we want to be different, right? And go over there. Or hold control. Oh, well, duh, I could press... I guess I could press control. Yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, just a few thousand you know, things destroyed, that's all. Ah. Uh, we're almost done with this group here, too. Beautiful. And we're literally done. Go ahead, guys. See what you can do. Well, I guess you can't do anything yet. Oh, that's sadness. 
Um, oh wait, do we do we not have? Ah, okay. Take that off. We can spare a few more guys over here to them. That's the case. We might just take these guys off as well because we need a lot of naval superiority, and we don't have it yet. Naval supremacy. It's only ten percent. Enemy supremacy is very very high. No, lower this by a little bit more. Send them all over here first. Flatter the Separatist Council. Flatter with corporate subsidies. We must keep the support of the corporations. We shall pay the money in order to make sure their loyalty, loyalties ally with the Confederacy. We could have half a billion dollars, so be it. That's fine with us. Any more divisions? Yes, please. Um, We've been sticking a lot of stuff around here. It sucks that we can't do anything else around here. I mean, yeah, we can't do that, but... It's very weird. Oh, do we have maybe some guys working somewhere else, maybe? Operating in assigned fleet area. I'm not seeing too many other rings around here. Sub operations are quite nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's do it. And we've landed. Nice. Okay. Just take us a little bit of time, and that's all right. Whee! Go right on ahead, guys, and we'll keep working under naval doctrine. Undersea blockade. I'm not sure how we're going to do undersea blockades while we're here, but we're going to roll with it and do the best we can. All right, who's next? Corellia? Yes, please. Wow, this looks really bad. Ooh. Ooh, that does not look very bueno, my friends. But I think we can fix this mess. If I think we can, we probably can. Just in case. Cool. And then do that, and then press Control, right? There you go. Right? Nice. Let's we'll see what we can do. The clones, we still need to get rid of all them clones. Rendili. Nice, nice, nice. Keep doing what you're doing. Four Corvettes were sunk. Very awesome. It's that time again. Very bueno. Keep going, guys. You're doing a tremendous job. So, so far for the faction, we are slowly moving up all through here. From the outer rim into the inner rim. The mid rim first, really. Into the deep call. Which we've not really done too much into the deep core, but we're... Obviously, with this army, we are. Oh, these guys are getting attacked, huh? By who? Oh, Genosans? No. No, they're getting attacked by clone troopers. And they're not necessarily losing just because they are clones with armor. But if we send armor to them, they won't be able to attack us. I love it. All right, so if that's the case, we can do this. Cut, cut. And then give it some time and then uh, snip, snip, snip. We got enough task forces for this. Actually, we could probably actually use a few more ships. But let's do this real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Is it still on? Yes, it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cool. And buy some more cruisers. There you go. Still out of stock destroyers? Sure, why not? There you go. Now that's a pretty good fleet. All right. Oh, we sunk six Corvettes. Very good. And go right ahead when you can. All right, we saved them. We will save the planet before it is too late. Go, droids. Oh, we found some ships. We already sunk two of the Pride of the Fleets, wow! Oh, they have no planes on these guys, no wonder. Oh, that is so scrumptious. Three Pride of the Fleets, maybe. Oh, tasty, tasty, tasty. And now they're gonna start from lack of supplies. And Duro's gone, we just sunk. A couple more ships. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Just don't give me the stuff. Actually, we do have the manpower for garrisons and such. We do need to keep an eye on our fuel, so that will be good. And then split you guys in half. I keep forgetting to press control sometimes for this stuff, so. And then go right there, and then press control, and... We got it. Whoa! Well, something like that. I don't know. Something like that. Kind of wacky and wild. Yay! Nemoidian, just make sure they don't get any other port. And we'll be golden. Even if they get another port, it doesn't really matter. We're flooding through here pretty quickly enough, so. Not too worried about it. And we do have war goal against a bunch, whole bunch of people here. I'm not really sure, but that doesn't matter to me. Corporate subsidies, and then endure war profits. Or ensure war profits. We've spent far too much credits on a war that we do not know if we can make profits from. We must change this. Oh, we're going to make... We're making a lot of profit. Fact stacks, man. Oh, we can annex countries. That'd be kind of cool. But let's go ahead and do... After this one, we can do open borders. We will open our borders for faster troop and naval movement. I think we're doing pretty darn well already for how much speed we have, but... Sure, why not? We don't need any more army. There you go. We're done. Construction. 
Wow, uh, we need to get some factories doing that stuff. Well, we really have no more fuel, huh? That kind of suckerinos. Of course, having all these divisions doesn't help either. Uh, what are the naval battles like right around here? A lot of convoys gone. That's nice. Of course, once we start moving our armies, then it'll be okay. But Because our, all of our divisions use fuel. More vulture droids to suck up on more fuel. Yes, please. Good, good, good. Wow. Whoa, look at this one. We lost a lot. We saw, we still shot down more than the enemy, so that's pretty good. Oh, they reinvaded us, huh? That kind of sucks. Help out down here so they don't win. But send half you guys over here as well, because they're trying to do it, uh, a little maneuver. Oh, they're really trying. Look at that. We lost... They lost two heavy cruisers and 12 corvettes. So this is like one of their last ditch struggle battles. Struggle battles? Hmm. Of course, we are out of fuel, which is so bad. What is costing us most of the Navy? Yeah, the Navy costs so much. Go ahead. It's everything you've got, son. Geonosis, give it, give it, give it. God dang. Daily gain is 11,000. God dang, son. Whoa! Whoa! Look at all the... We've lost a lot here. We, we're actually losing quite a bit. Look at that. Corvette. We lost hundreds of planes. This is almost 367. Not too much there. Not too much there. Not too much there. Not too much there. Okay. And that one too. And then a lot more planes still again. And then a couple ships were sunk. We sunk the pride of their fleet. We lost a couple more planes, and then we lost a few more planes as well. Jesus Christ, they are really, really going home about this one. This has got to be a last-ditch effort. Uh, yep, they're out of divisions almost. That's really good. And open borders. Nice. Escort patrols, let's grab some of that. Very good, very good, very good. And goodbye. Go do something like that, and then do something like that. They might die before then, but we'll see what happens. Oh. Hello. Oh, you guys actually invaded. Hey, not bad, guys. Good luck. You don't really need too much luck, but we'll do okay. These guys look pretty darn bad, I'll be honest. Cool. Just head over here. And then right there, saving up on just a tiny smidgen amount of fuel. Where's this place? They want us to go over there? Oh, we could probably do that after this one. Corellia's going to fall. That'd be great. And, come on, we're so close. We're almost in the tile. And, bingo, we got them. They can do that one. Uh, oh, look at this. They're invading Quat. Quat. Alderaan. Oh, yes. Um, hmm. Well, send you all from here. From here. Cool. And then do this one as well. From here to go there. There you go. That should be good. Navy-wise, you've been... You've got the crap kicked out of you here. Holy crud. Go and repair real quick. Give them a few seconds before we get back into here. Uh, it shouldn't take that long. How much do we have for... We don't have enough here. Okay. There you go. That's all we got. It's alright. Let's grab some of this. The defense compliance, and then we'll do some back end of blow for more tactics. Cool. we got more organization for infantry, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And you're done there. All right. Ah, uh, if you want to come down here first, that's fine with us. You might be able to sink some stuff around here real quick. Yeah, that might be really good for us. Just because, okay, never mind. No, we're done. And you guys come down here. Let's go when we can. All right, we've landed. 
Where are their allies? Look at that. And they instantly lost. Cool. Alright, so we need to build more stuff up. I'm not sure where. I guess we build here, why not? Um, fuel cells really probably won't work. Radar probably doesn't mean too much here, so you can do that one too, and then build some more civvies. We should have quite a while before that one, so that's okay. We have only 444 some factories. Keep going, guys. We sunk another convoy. Good, good, good. So who's not part of the Galactic Republic now? That's probably better. Yeah, this is the last ditch defense, basically, of the Galactic Republic. But look at this. Um, I don't mind sending you guys over here, actually, just in case for the defense of Ryloth. Just in case. Open borders, and they'll do fair taxation. As an attempt to bolster the support of our people, we will have fair taxations. This may hurt our economy for a little bit, but for the long-term benefits are well worth it. Or to consumer goods, but at this point, I'm not really too concerned about it. Ah, uh, invaded by two sides. They've lost almost 11 million men. Or, I guess, men and women casualties. Just so many. The Galactic Republic is going to fall. They have one to two divisions left. Alderaan is more... Well, they have one, a few more divisions than us, but... Actually, they don't. They have a few divisions. They have the most of the military, but not for long. Cool. There you go. Um, control, click. Thank you. And we'll do this one, too. Just in case. You always want to be... More safe than sorry. Well, not always, but usually. You know, do all three worlds here. Because we'll find a lot of enemies. We lost 47 planes in exchange for a few Corvettes. Oh, boy. Man, I wonder how fast I can make vulture droids. Not fast enough, that's for sure. Alright, we're already maxed out on the tech. Still can't buy one of these, it's kind of disappointing, but that's alright. Oh, our allies invaded it. Anyways, okay. Thanks so much for that. There you go. Anyone invade up here yet? No? Alright. Undersea blockade. Grab some less computer reveal chance. Very nice. Why don't we just send all of you guys over here? You might be able to do that, maybe. Maybe not. And from there to there. And from here to there. Cool. And we're doing well. We're doing quite well. That should improve the ability of us being able to see and defeat enemy ships. Um, let's take a look here. What have we lost? Another hyena class, that's fine. That doesn't really matter too much to us. Still, no, I don't think anyone's going to make that one ship that the guy wants. Cool. Cool. Oops. No, I don't want to do that. Just so many convoys sunk. Alright, there you go. Oh, well, I can't click on anything right now. Hold on. There we go. Cool. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing okay myself. There you go. Fair taxation followed with anti-corruption initiatives. Corruption is a thing of the Republic, not the Confederacy. We will launch this new initiative to combat any leftover corruption. Loyalists go down. Consortium? Confederate Congress, huh? Convoy sailing followed up with integrated convoy defense. Very nice. Ah, we got a lot of enemies around here too. Interesting. There you go. And there you go. Whoa! Whoa! 56 high unit class bombers. Bunch of little screens, probably, and some acclimator class ships. No wonder we can't get in there just yet. Oh, we went down here too? Nice. Let's, let's really concentrate on this area here first. Really concentrate on this area, guys. Mm -hmm. So I think that's pretty much it. Like, these are the last little planets that we had to take out. Yeah, that's literally it. Look, that's a beautiful CIS. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, what do they want? Request map. Why are you asking me? Here, you can have this many guys. We are we are a generous CIS. Um, 
mean, if we if we need more ships, I suppose we can get them probably. Let's grab some of those. Let's grab one of these guys and grab some more of these guys. Another task force maybe. And before I forget, let's do the tried and true. Thank you, thank you. Bow down to your new masters. Awesome. And where are you at? Wingo, Wongo, Dungo. Something like that. There you go. And it looks like we're doing well on fuel. So, attacking some of these areas is really kind of crappy. Just because... Well, where are you guys at? Oh, you're still down here. Okay, that makes sense then. I was wondering where they were at. Okay, I was really wondering. Um, take a break, Boz Pity. Well, wait, let's do Envoy to the Underworld. While this might make us seem weak, we have to go to the Underworld for resources and access to their territory. It'll be well worth it. We get, we'll get better positions on the Republic and get more fuel to supply our Navy, which is actually what we could have used earlier. Okay, so that makes more sense. I was, I thought we had some place here. They, we weren't quite 100% there yet. And we've gone up to 24% Naval Supremacy. Not enough. How big is their fleet? They've got to be having a massive fleet. Can we make it until... No, we cannot. Hmm... I thought we'd be important enough, special enough to do this. We get currently 90 million credits a day. That is just so much. They got a lot of manpower. They got a lot of ships. Backhand blow followed up with Advanced Warfare. That was a fun COD game. That was a fun COD game. At least in my opinion. It was kind of fun. Um, do we have any other upgrades for Trench? No, doesn't look like it. So, um, maybe we'll come over here first. Take that one off. See what our allies can do. We've already found some things over here. Not too bad. Maybe we'll send you guys over here first. Who needs a planet? When we can get Coruscant itself. The jewel of the Senate. Or the Galactic Senate. Good. Let them prepare. Give them some time. Holy crap. That's a lot. Maybe one of our allies will be able to invade, but we'll see. Let time go on just for a little bit. We can do another focus too while we're here anyways. Treaty with Huts, Docking rights. We must get access to the Huts ports in order to launch assaults deep into the Republic's territory, which will be a very, very good thing. And about three days left. Dos deos. And one day left. Also, someone did ask if I could play. Like, I, do, I was talking about playing like Star Wars Battlefront 2. Someone said like, yeah, you should totally play it. Totally play it. So, I might play it sometime. I don't know. I don't even know if I have it for PC, so... I have it for a PS2. Guarantee you that. Good, good, good. I kind of doubt this ship will ever come here, but uh, let's grab some more of these guys. There you go. And throw you right there, because you're looking pretty darn weak right there. There you go. That's a little better for us, probably. Yeah, I might have to go off screen and just delete these guys' navies, just because the naval supremacy is sometimes almost impossible to get. Look at that. 133 sh friendly ships in the region versus up to 36. Um, how, how much range do we have for planes? Bombers are nice. Not enough. Uh, bombers, hyena class. You guys don't have enough range to help us out either, so. Hmm. Um,. Well, we can keep that going on for now. I don't care about the whole construction stuff, but Pike Rhydonium deal. Now that we have a navy, we can come across another problem. Fuel. Now we will have to make new allies in order to supply our fleets. The Pike Syndicate will make a great ally due to them owning Kessel. We have begun negotiations. Great. Alright, research. And we're almost done with the naval auction, which is great. Oh, what happened here? Actually, we don't even need to do that. Well, it's better, you know, I always forget to do this. Just go ahead, and instead of doing convoy raiding, just do naval escorts. Duh. Smoke lover. Duh. Duh. Sometimes I forget that. We'll try that next. Let's see. Anything else around here that we can really sink our, sink our teeth into? Yes. Roads. A confederacy that believes in roads. And lots of fuel. We're going to make every planet a gas planet. Or fuel planet. Alright, so how are we doing over here? Are we sinking a lot of stuff? Yes, we are. That's pretty nice. 
And for these naval battles, I mean, there's just a lot of convoys coming in and out, so... If we can sink all the convoys, it can't do anything else, so yeah. But, let's switch this around. Alright, so while we're doing well with that stuff, we gotta go bingo bongo. And do this. Are we poised to go? Alright, so that gave us up to 31% naval supremacy, but we require 40%. Which does pretty much suckerinos. Um, convoy escorts? Well, we just got this one done, which is nice. Land auction is almost done. Maybe get some better engineers, because you can. Uh, we're really trying to escort stuff as best as we can. I'm not sure if adding more ships on will really do too much here for us. So we can do that. There you go. Get some more guys here, just in case. Make each task force extremely good, maybe? But even then, it doesn't give us that much more naval supremacy. Actually, it might just lower it, so... I'll do all this, too. So there's really not much we can do there. But what if we did this, as well as do this? Uh, well, actually, we probably wouldn't be able to do this area, just because... Uh, well... We have to go through Coruscant first. But... Uh, I don't take over stuff yet. I guess guarantee racial equality. If we guarantee racial equality, we can increase the support of our people. If we have to. I guess if we're forced to. Because we're sinking a lot. Look at all that. We're sinking so many convoys. Actually, these guys are good. These guys are actually really good. Fighters are fine. Uh, we need more J1 cannons. That's fine. Let's grab some more of those guys. Oh, no, wrong one. Yeah, this kind of sucks, I'll be honest. This kind of really sucks. But we still focus as they do anyway, so I'll just focus on these guys. Can you do patrols, maybe? Or strike force. Maybe not strike force. I never use these two. I've always found the convoy rating is always super good to do. Because this is a convoy rating, you can sink stuff still. You can almost always sink stuff. But after we get into racial equality, we'll have a promise of economic equality. We'll promise economic equality. To make sure and to keep these promises, we will have to sacrifice some of our industry. Which is, you know, it is what it is. Streamline line, that is fine with us, and grab some of that. Followed up with education in the Outer Rim. The Outer Rim is very uneducated. We can improve their education system and gain more people to research for us. Oh, get a, another research slot. Get a five? Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, this is kind of sad that we can't do anything here, especially with maxed out naval doctrine. And our radars kind of suck, so we can't even get more stuff around here, too. Um, yeah. I'll probably just delete their Navy off screen, but I want to get through the focuses first with each other, so. I mean, their fleet. I wish we could have an intelligence agency. I really, really wish we could. But I guess we'll improve our stuff here, too. There you go. If we want that, it doesn't matter to me. We're really running out of Duraloy. Look at all them. Oh, look at all them convoys sunk. Let's do that. Follow up with this. With one more. Another task force. Where is it at? And we'll do this some more. Good enough. Planes, yes. Just in case. I would love to get some buzz droids. That'd be really cool. Alright, so where are we at? Where are we at? We're still over here. Man. And we went, naval supremacy went down. Intel efficiencies are just really, really bad. Um, promises of e economic equality, education in the outer rim, followed up with a hope for a better tomorrow. There's nothing to read there. But that's okay. We don't always need something to read. Which we need to do power to the council as well. Hmm. Oh, we can do that one. Friends in high places. Intergalactic banking clan. Well... We're doing the best we can down here. There's not really much we can do because our intelligence is just too small or low. Now we did come back over here. You're all here. And naval supremacy is not very good either. What if we change you guys to do this? And did that. That probably still won't help us out very much. Grab some recon stuff. Grab some more of this stuff. Yeah, this kind of sucks. Not going to lie. 26%. It's still not enough. Um, yeah, we told our guys to go. We need 40%. Aye. There's nothing here we can do. I don't think any of our allies have other stuff too, so... We kind of sunk here. But, power to the council. 
Oh no, we'll do this one. I hope for a better tomorrow. Followed up with Power to the Council after we read about Advanced Warfare. Cool. Alright. Get some more naval stuff, I guess. That's fine with us. Oh, a fifth research slot. And we'll grab some Air Doctrine. Sure. Actually, no, that doesn't make any sense for us to do. Tactical Bombers. We have Bombers. We have Bombers. 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 After this one, um, further the Sith plot. I don't know about that. We might want to save that one for last. Motor upgrades. Let's grab some AB7s. Very nice. So, let's talk about Power to the Council. With Power to the Council, we can increase our power and people's loyalty to the Confederacy. Very good. Yeah, nothing. literally nothing's happening over here, which just disappointing, man. Disappointing. There you go. go just stay here. You'll find convoys anyways to blow up and kill off, so... I just wish we could do something here, though. We just can't. Our supremacy is only 21%. Enemy supremacy is between 10,000 and 24,000, while ours is 13,000. Friendly ships within orders to engage is 167, versus enemy ships with orders to engage, which is 26 to 57. So, it kind of sucks. And we're still finding stuff here all the time. It's just never enough. It's never, ever enough, which sucks. And now, power to the council. Followed up with, out with the idealists, deal with the idealists. We must make deal with the idealists, even if it means we lose some support of our people, but the benefits will be worth it. Ooh, 10% more stability, huh? I could probably go down and volunteer for us, that's fine. Anything else here? Let's, nope, we can't do that one, which kind of sucks. Uh, improve processing, cool. Nice, nice, nice. 83 days, that's a long time. A lot of convoys have been sunk. Is this getting worse? Any better? 3, 4, 9, 5? Well, I guess it's time to buy some more stuff then. Nice. Old Republican armor? Sure, why not? Look at all them things we destroy. And it still ain't enough. Alright. And then we're almost done. At least the mod moves pretty darn quickly so we can get to these focuses pretty darn fast. Uh, let's grab another one of these guys. And... Power of the Council, followed up with friends in high places. We have friends in high positions of the Republic. We will use this to improve our power. Free political power, thank you very much. And just throw them here. I'm not going to give them a CV this time. Just do what you need to. Recon. Let's. Uh, honestly, to research doesn't really matter too much. By throwing another task force, hopefully we can find and increase our naval supremacy, but it doesn't look like it's increased at all. Which is incredibly disappointing. How is it so little? They've up to 64 ships. That's all they got. Come on out, you black and tans. Wait, wait, wrong, wrong mod. Wrong game. <laughs> Um, we got best spin, and we do we will we will deal with idealists as well. So, promise of economic equality. I thought we already said that one. Engineers of the outer rim. That's not too bad. Phase two. We'll see what happens. Further the Sith plot. Go boom, boom. A lot of these down here. Stage terror attacks. I think we'll do a deal with the idealists first. Then, not a bad idea. Force rotation, cool. Fighter baiting, because we can. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, how's Trench doing? Skill 8. I don't know how we're getting all these extra millies. We don't really need them. Cool. And then, advanced processing. Get even more processing, because we could use that. I'm not sure how they're importing all this stuff, just because everyone else is dead. We've killed off 11 million. We've lost 1.05. We've, we've personally lost only a thousand. We've done 51% of all war score. So... So this is from one of these guys. From Bathawui. Oh, Frezzy is still alive too, which makes sense. So, yeah, naval stuff could, maybe should get looked at in the future. I'm not really sure what else I could do about that, but we could try it again. We could try it like this. And that would raise us up to almost 29%, but that's still not, not high enough. Um, Corvette had some promise there. Nothing down there either. There you go. Go right there. See what you can do. Do you have 29.9%? Maybe we just got to keep buying ships. Maybe. 
and staged air attacks. The Republic still stands in the war in support of the war, or still stands at full stability even in the state of war. We must begin to undo their stiffness. We shall engage terror attacks on core Republic worlds, scouring the citizens of the Republic into submission. Scarring or scaring? Probably scaring. But with bury any peace talks. We will never surrender. We'll surrender for the weak. We will prevail or we will die. I mean, I don't think we really need to do anything like we don't we not we don't have to surrender. And we're doing pretty darn well here already. Now it's down to twenty two percent. What if you did convoy escorts? Twenty two point nine percent? Oh, and older public tanks. Uh, let's grab this one. Ammo upgrade? Sure, why not? 20.9. What if we did uh, strike force? 29.9. What if we did patrols? It goes even down to 18. Wow, that sucks. Corvettes? Cool. Black cruisers? Cool. State of uh, this stuff? Cool. And let's grab some of that too. Escorts goes up to 23. Convoy rating just goes up to 23 as well. Just just huge numbers. And what do we have over here? Eh, we don't need to spend anything else. And then bury any peace talks, thank you. And then we'll also do a toast to our friends. No, nothing down there. So we got both these done. We'll do the Sith plot as well. I just want to get through the entire thing first. You know, the entire land tree. Land tree, focus tree as well. So I do military plan. That's fine. I just don't understand. Yeah, we'll have to delete the navy. It's fine. Uh, but that's the case. Uh, let's let time go on. We'll toast to our friends. Further the Sith plot. Tie up loose ends, and then Operation De Untergang, their downfall. Um, in addition, we'll do the Commerce Guild. Guild resources. We can use Commerce Guild's resources to supply our war machine. Although it costs a lot of credits, the effects that the resources will have on a war machine will be well worth the cost. Rax is drilling instructors. Once we get through this one as well, thank you. Some tanks. That'd be very nice. Uh, we shall use the Commerce Guild's resources once more. We will build up Rax's resource output to supply our war machine until the war ends. With Techno Union. Description. Techno Union Think Tank. The Techno Union has the best scientists. We will hire one of them to help us research more technology to send to the front line and droid factories. We have found or funded everyone else. Now it's time for the Techno Union to get funded. We'll give them a factory to have push more droids to the market. With Trade Federation. Description. Further RII funding, the Trade Federation has been a great ally. We'll send them more credits to help them out. Ship contracts? Our Navy is good, but not as good as the Republic's. We will donate another factory to the Trade Federation to help them put more ships on the market for us to buy. And then Intergalactic Banking Clan. Very cool. And then we'll also probably do Ori Phase 1. Phase 2. And get some research done as well. Yeah, since we're here already. Fighter baiting. Low echelon support. Black cruisers and the corvettes. And then promises of economic equality. We must promote economic equality to help keep these promises. We will have to sacrifice some of our industry. Engineers of the Outer Rim. The Outer Rim has been talked down upon due it to its weak infrastructure and industry. But with the CIS's help, the, we, the Outer Rim will become the new galactic core and a mobilized Outer Rim. We will mobilize the Outer Rim. So that's all the focuses I think we can do. Oh, we can also do this up over here. Further, the Sith plot, tie up loose ends. I guess we can do that one next, just in case. Uh, take over Boz Pity. We must take over Boz Pity in order to protect the CIS and get better positions on strategic Republican worlds. Fortify Boz Pity. Once we took control of the Boz Pity, the Republic has issued strong diplomatic protests. We have reason to believe that this will be the site of multiple major battles. We will begin to fortify the planet. Once completed, any attack on Boz Pity will be pushed back with heavy ca enemy casualties and set up a base on Rusan. We will build up defenses on Rusan. Any attack against it will be in vain and fortify Rusan. Now that we have control over Rusan, the Republic will try the hardest to take it. We must prevent this by building up their defenses. But other than that, I will see you when we have invaded Coruscant. Alright everyone, so here we're at in Northern Coruscant because the Jedi Order has actually rebelled against good old Papa Sheev, who now leads the Galactic Empire. Now I've not gone ahead and deleted their navy just because, well, we figured, or I figured, you know what, let's just get military access through the Jedi Order and uh, do what? We could invite him to our faction, but I don't know, man. I don't know about that. The Jedi, they've, they've shown their true hand, but at this point, because the Jedi Order is not doing anything for garrisons, I figured it's probably best to try to push out right now, just because we're taking attrition here. So this area is not too bad right in here. Over here, it could be a lot better. Um, we might send our guys in here as well, just because, well, we might need them, maybe. 
Maybe. I don't know. And actually, I've not stopped doing our naval, our naval stuff. Like, I, the Navy's just been running, 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 running this entire time off screen. So, and we're currently doing ship contracts. So, it is what it is, I guess. I guess I did droid factories after Techno Union and didn't do Techno Union Think Tank. Okay, well, what it is what it is. All right, whatever. And we will kill them off and then maybe kill off the Jedi Order because that's what they deserve in the end of this, you know? Just because they deserve it. Ah, beautiful. Also, here are the couch trees. We've killed off six point... Well, we personally have killed off 3.6 million of them while taking how many losses from them? Less than a thousand. That couch tree ratio, well, I've had better. I ain't too shabby, I do say so myself. Oh, I'll let you guys go on too. Uh, Alpha's doing great. This guy, Riff, is doing awesome, is awesome, awesome. L level eight. And, and we won. Cool. Now, hopefully we get all the score. That was actually not too bad. But, the Jedi Order. Oh, Papa Sheev, Papa Teen. I wonder what's going to happen if someone did say, what happens if we don't kill them? Or, what happens if we can't kill them? What happens? That's a very, very good question. Uh, I think, for right now, let's just go ahead and annex all these guys. Oh, man, that's going to be a lot of manpower. Actually, I don't think we have the manpower for this. Probably need to create or raise our conscription level for this, but even though I've been lowering it, but we have already 2,000 manpower or 2,000 political power, I should say, which doesn't make me care too much about what happens, especially since this is near the end of the episode, anyways. Oh, Bob's pity. Well, we were going to annex him anyway. Eh, you know what? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Rodia, I just want to get through all the focuses as fast as possible to see what happens, since uh, yeah, not too bad. I always forgot that the Galactic Empire will have the Jedi Order rebel. Technically, so let's let time go on a little bit first, because we still need to kill them off. So not too bad, and we have a united or unified front against these guys. Now we're probably going to need millions upon millions of guns to help put down a lot of resistance. Oh boy. Actually, how are we looking here? Occupied territories? What are we on? Oh, civilian oversight? That's okay. I prefer reconciliation. Field hospital droid stuff. That's not too bad. Hopefully we don't get too much resistance here. And what is their stockpile like for now? 2.1 million guns, which is actually not good, just because... Uh, if it goes too high, then we lose out and we hit the counter in which we start getting negative 2.1 million guns. Equipment conversion doesn't mean too much. I forgot that our, actually our garrisons are made up of battle droids, so it doesn't even matter. We have 158,000 B2 battle droids, and it looks like we're just getting more equipment right now just because we have set it on auto buy. Six, Jesus Christ, six things here. Oh, it's so nice. But, I guess, Operation Downfall, we'll see what happens. Maybe nothing will happen. But it's always worth trying, I guess. And we still have to wait to go to war with these guys anyway. So let's go and train. It's totally fine with us. The Jedi Order, they have no resistance. They have 30... 93 million people who live here. The High Jedi Council. Well, they're not going to last for very long. We do have military access, but cancel it. Please, thank you, thank you, thank you. They did want to join our faction, but I'm like, nah. They got a little bit of manpower, but they're not using it on garrisons. Which is very weird, but, you know, it is what it is. They've up to five factories. They've got a few convoys. They've got... Some amount of soldiers, a few ships, which will probably blow out of the water, but that's okay. And after Operation Downfall... Oh, wait, we need to do a toast to our friends as well. And we got, oh, these four to do as well, and a bunch of these as well to do, which is going to take some time, but that's okay. That's okay, because I still want to kill the Jedi, so... I'm not going to pause it. I mean, we could uh, do free military factories and free dockyards, but... Eh, it is what it is. Oh, toast to our friends. Oh, we can't take this one. Oh, it requires all the following. Okay, that makes sense then. Uh, let's, do, let's do this one. Take over boss. Pity. Cool. And how much longer will we have to wait for this? Not too much longer. Literally two days, so. Actually. Is this going down? Resistance is going down. They're doing harsh quotas. Scaled by 0% due to garrison fulfillment. Alright, well. Uh, I wonder how well they're going to fight us. How strong are they? They look like they've got clones as well. Wow. Um, yeah, they got clones. Jedi Guard... Well, no, clone commanders, at least. They got Jedi Guardians, which... You know, we've already cut off 20 of them. Up to 11 divisions, not bad. Military police is nice. Maintenance companies, why not? And they're, and they're gone. Whoopsie. Alright, the galaxies are. So at this point, let's just do this. Uh, I don't think there's anything going to be here, so focus. Dot auto complete. Cool. Take them over. Thank you. Rusan. Rusan, phase one, to see what that's like. Uh, phase two as well, and then promises of economic equality, engineers of the outer rim, as well as a mobile, mobilized outer rim. So let's close that out, and it says we load up parts of the generic focus tree. This will unlock focuses for the generic tree. Uh, I mm, don't see anything here. 
I can zoom all the way out, and that's what we're doing. We can zoom all the way in, but there's nothing else here. So, I guess that's it for now for the CIS. The CIS is a lot of fun. If you know how to, you know, manage the mod and manipulate it to make sure you win every time, basically by throwing a tank division in each of your infantry divisions, you'll do pretty well, which I learned the hard way when I was playing as Mandalorians. But regardless, if you enjoyed this campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll catch you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, wonderful rest of your day.